Hey, this is Jay Stills. I'm going to do my third YouTube video review. Today, I want to talk about Tekken 7. Tekken 7 is like my all-time favorite game, fighting game, like, ever. And with my even one of my all-time favorite video games ever, too. But the thing about it is, it's just like, Tekken 7 kind of was a letdown. It was, I mean, I feel as if they add the new Rage art mechanics. They added the Rage Drive. They added... Like, they added the um, power crush moves. They added some more elements in the game. Of course, the game looks real sexy with the Unreal en with the new engine they used to to get the uh, the get to get the, the process the graphics and to run the game on. But the only problem with the game is just where's the content at? Like Tekken Tag, they promoted so hard for that game. Tekken Tag Tournament Two, that game was promoted extremely hard. And it's just like when you look at the promotion for that game. You see what they add to the game. You see how many characters. I mean, the characters in Tekken Tag and Tekken 7, I, I didn't expect them to have all the characters in that game to this game. But I just, I mean, it's just the costumes, the everything. The game had a way better presentation. And it was just like, why couldn't this Tekken 7 get those same customization items that they had in Tekken Tag and add more stuff? to the game so they could have more customization items and then we bought a season pass hoping that we would get more stuff all we got was just Tekken bowling some bikini swimsuits and geese howard and eliza and supposed to get noctis but i'm not really looking forward to noctis noctis should be in soul caliber i mean i'll still play him i mean he looks cool and everything but at the same time it's just like he doesn't really seem to fit in the game, but it is what it is. But uh, other than that, I was just hoping by like now we would just get some more characters too. Because even the legacy characters aren't even in, like some of them aren't even in the game. Like of course you have Kazuya, you have Jin, you have Heihachi, you have uh, Nina, you have King... You know, and Gunjack, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not gonna go down. The, I'm not gonna name the whole entire character roster. But the point I'm trying to make is like, you don't have Julia Chang, you don't have Anna. Like I said, Lei Wulong. But anyway, Tekken Seven is just missing content. Hopefully, they give us some legacy characters, some old game modes, and of course, more customizations and even more stages. But you know, we have a whole year to look forward to what they could possibly add because we did pay for a season pass. So hopefully um, we get our expectations met or majority of them met. But anyway, this is Jay Stills. Have a great day. Peace out. Peace.